Congressman Gresham Barrett. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me say this, guys. I know you're mad. I know you're frustrated. And I hear you. And the American people are being hurt. And that's what this thing's all about. It's about people being hurt. It's about your voice. And I can promise you one thing, guys. You may boo. You may turn your back. But I have devoted my life for the conservative cause. And I will fight for you. And I will never turn my back on you. I can promise you that. I know you might not agree. But isn't that what's great about this country? Let me tell you one thing, the liberal Democrats in Washington, D.C. don't agree either. They don't see a problem with trillions of pork barrel dollars of spending. They don't see a problem with raising tax levels that would make the French blush. With rewarding illegal behavior with amnesty at your expense. Racking up mountains of debt. The problem they see, guys, is you. And it's not. I respect you. I honestly do. I know we may have differences on some votes, and I know you vehemently disagree with them. But I'll tell you one thing right now. The Obama administration, they don't believe in you guys. This week, the Department of Homeland Security issued a report to law enforcement, to law enforcement, that our soldiers coming back were a national security risk. And they recklessly linked those of us who oppose abortion, illegal immigration, and hate groups. They're listening, I'm telling you. We must fight the Democrats on trillion dollars of spending. We must fight them on a national debt that doubles in the next six years and triples in the next 10. We must fight the waste in the name of stimulus. And we must fight them from resurrecting the death tax. We have to fight, guys, and we have to win. The tyranny of excess debt must end. The gluttony of reckless spending must be stopped. And above all, taxation without hesitation must be examined, exposed, and extinguished. Let me tell you this. Over the past 20 years, Congress has got an automatic pay raise, an automatic pay raise. This past year was $4,700. $4,700. That's not right. Without a single congressman voting one time. That's robbery, and that's not right. I've donated my $4,700 to charity, and this is the second United States congressman where I put in a bill to repeal an automatic tax raise. Well, you see, Americans who work hard, play by the rules, pay our taxes, it isn't complicated, and our tax code shouldn't be either. How many of y'all paid your taxes? Absolutely. How many of you think the tax form's too complicated? Absolutely. How many of you think we need to scrap the tax code and come up with something simpler? Absolutely. You inspired me. I recently introduced a bill called the T-Act. It dramatically restricts the growth of government, requires a standard of accountability, and it will force government, by law, to live within its means. My hope tonight is this is the beginning, not the end, guys. I hope that you, the people, will lead us to a new level of accountability and transparency, responsibility, with respect for our Constitution and the fundamental principles that make this country great. It's our heritage. It's our hope. And with your help, it's our destiny. Thank you for allowing me to speak. God bless each and every one of you. And God bless the United States.
Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I thought I, I thought I suspected a, a bit of resistance in the crowd. But 